Okay. Uh, so yeah, some of you, well, I mean, yeah, some of you might be wondering uh, where I've been and all that stuff. Um, I, I made a video a while, a while ago just saying, well, not a specific video, it was just saying I was leaving, but uh, I mentioned in a few videos that um, I've been making videos less and less, and I guess this is kind of an update on that and, and where I might be going and, and what's going on. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff going on right now uh, in real life, so can't exactly be uh, dedicating too much time to making videos. Um, but yeah, um, in any case, for those of you who are still here, um, I guess I can just tell you guys, uh, while I kind of stopping uh, making videos and things like that, uh, I'm still playing Aether Aids and, and um, Fire Emblem and Epic 7 every week. And I'll make a separate Epic 7 video for those of people who care about Epic 7 and um, I'll just talk about stuff in this video about Fire Emblem and, and plans and all that stuff uh, here. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I'm not going to stop playing the game. I'm still going to keep playing the game. I just taking making videos uh, takes a little more time out of your day because you got to, you know, I, I mean, I, I don't mean to complain. It's like, oh, making videos is hard. It's, it's really not that hard, but um, it's, there, there, there's a lot of like time loss associated with videos that you don't necessarily know until you start doing it. Um, so it's like, oh, you know, you put your video up on the background, but, you know, you got to sit there and you gotta make all these tags and all this stuff. And you got to make sure the video is there. So while that only takes in practice, maybe like five minutes to do all that, like all of it together kind of takes like a half an hour chunk or maybe an hour chunk or something like that. Um, and then, you know, there's a bunch of other stuff that, that goes on with that. And, and take, take, for example, when you play at the raids. So if you play at the raids, I have to make a video on it. Um, I have to sit there for you know the, the amount of time it takes to do the the matches and then um, show it to you guys. Whereas normally, maybe I'll I'll open up the thing, I'll get my first attack in, I'll look at it, and maybe I'll do something else, and then I'll you know start looking at it again and, and maybe take some steps and then go do something else and then come back again and then um, you know the answer kind of comes to you over time. <clears throat> but sitting there and kind of be like, okay, we have to like force the answer out of us right now. Uh, it takes a little bit of time and and. Um, it's not so convenient anymore because normally it's just like oh, I'll just go I'll do this while I'm doing something else right and then you know you, there it is but when you're sitting down making a video it's that's a whole hour chunk that's only dedicated to doing that part it's only dedicated to doing that so uh, and the, it's the same thing with uh, you know epic 7 like guild wars and stuff like that guild wars I can just do one attack here one attack like later in the day and then another attack later um, but having to sit down and actually just physically get your attacks in all at the same time and then and then you know have to commentate all that stuff it's it doesn't it's not like i said it's not hard work it's not like you know it's super difficult um it's it's pretty easy but uh the thing is you know when you're you know where i am right now you really have to min max your time and the fact that you're spending so much time um on you know basically just gotcha games that are supposed to be like you know convenient side things um is where it is and i don't do a lot of live streaming so maybe you know an hour live stream a day would be pretty good just sort of contain everything on there maybe not a day right but every every so often just like contain everything on there and then just leave and not worry about that and then do everything else throughout the week that i want to but uh it is what it is uh but yeah so this is a channel update and and sort of a, a i guess like kind of showing something off uh you can see here that is in fact uh 1000 free to play orbs that i got since the last time we had our summoning video because i haven't summoned since like every time i summon i'll do it on camera just because it's like <laughs> Why not? Because I mean, as long as I'm summoning, summoning, may as well you know give other people something to watch. Uh, inventory. We're trying to get to frequent last question. Customer support. Is that it? Or balance? What does that mean? Okay. Well, they are free to play. Um, hopefully by the time, because uh, this isn't a summoning video, as you can see probably by the title. Uh, Hopefully by the time I do make the summoning video, and those all, all those orbs are for a summoning video. Uh, and, well, I, I mean, this is kind of, I can kind of show you that, like, I haven't spent on any of these packs. Um, which are usually just going to be better deals than just straight up buying orbs. Like, I don't know, I mean, I guess maybe I could be the kind of person to just straight up buy orbs and then uh, not buy these packs to prove to you, like, you know, oh, I didn't buy the packs, but, you know, secretly I bought... I didn't buy these packs, but secretly I bought, you know, packs, like regular packs, but I don't know. Uh, hopefully that whatever, that orb balance thing uh, doesn't stay broken for for long, because I really need it to, <laughs> to for the summoning video soon. Um, if it, and, 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 even if it is, I mean, it's not going to stop me from summoning. It's still just, just going to be a huge bummer, because, I mean, that's, that's what that's for. It's there to be proof that 
<laughs> these are free to play orbs, but uh, if it doesn't work, then I don't know what uh, what's going on, why that, why that is that way. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, like I said, I haven't bought any of these packs. I don't, you know, not even that pack. There are, there are some packs that I have bought, so, you know, for those of you who may be newer than other people, I'm not entirely free to play. Uh, but I've, I've never bought, like, any of these packs. I only buy the, the like, these special packs up here because they're usually better deals than what's going on down here. Um, but, okay, so that's enough of that. So why uh, have I gone through... Um, and this is the only time I'm going to get this many orbs, by the way, because I had to clean out, like, all of the story. Like, I have half of the story I hadn't finished before this. Um, so now all of it is uh, completed. So I am out of storybook orbs, uh, out of paralogue orbs... And uh, not only that, I am also out of, let's go take a look over here, uh, these orbs. These only give you feathers, so all these are completed and all these are completed. So I took all these orbs and I uh, took all of these orbs. Um, so this is the last time I'll have so many orbs so concentrated. Um, because I couldn't just like, this is the only time where I just pulled a bunch of orbs out of my ass and, and, and here we are. Uh, the only ones I'm missing are these because I don't feel like blessing up like... Like this, you can bless up one team and then do all of this, but then you have to bless up, like, two teams here, three teams. That's a lot of blessings that I'm losing just to, like, complete these real quick. So, I mean, I might do it later when I have more um, blessings to confer. And it's not like I don't have that many. I have, like, 30 of every single color. Uh, I don't know. I just, I don't like wasting them for some reason, and you don't get a lot of them. I mean, I've had 30 for, like, the past few months, maybe, like, the last year. <laughs> they haven't gone up or down, I don't know. I'm not sure how to get them, and I don't want to go out of my way to start playing the game in a way that I have to go get them. So if they stop giving them to me so readily, then, you know, that's the reason that maybe I should take more care of them. Uh, what else? What else? So yeah, these orbs, uh, I just sucked all the orbs I could dry out of this, and, you know, I guess the answer, the question is, uh, why? And I think it's kind of obvious for those of you who, who already know, who have already, you know, maybe spent orbs, or hopefully you haven't spent orbs yet. Uh, as for this banner here, this banner... Is probably the most ridiculous banner for this account. Uh, as most of you know, I'm flyer primarily, and the other on, on top of being flyer primarily, I have had a big problem with my defense, uh, and that being that I don't have any red checks on my defense team. And what is this? This is a banner with a six percent focus rate. You can't get any other five star, but the ones on the banner for two of the strongest flying red threats in the game so as you can see this is why i've been I, i've been trying to you know run myself ragged kind of just you know i haven't played fire emblem more than i have this past like as soon as this banner came out i have been doing nothing but grinding as much as i could to get as many orbs as humanly possible uh, for this moment uh because this banner is just the dumbest banner i've ever seen so while you're summoning i mean if you're summoning on red right which you're gonna you really should be uh, my secondary color is going to be blue, and that's still two very good blue. I mean, this one's obviously better, and and I, you know, for those of you who know, I have a plus one pala, and more merges to her is you know all the better. Uh, but this is also a very good um, unit to get anyway. Like even if you don't, you know, even if you don't necessarily want her, she's a very tanky unit. Uh, she's got guard bearing, which is excellent flyer fodder, um, sturdy impact. Again, very good, very good skill. Um, and you can inherit both of them. You can take this and this at the same time. Um, and this lance is, is all right. Um, the first, it only works in the first combat kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, obviously, like I said, Pala is significantly better than her, but, um, there you go. Like you summon on, on red. And then if you have to, you know, if there's no reds, you can summon on blue and you get really good blue units. Um, you summon on green. Uh, I think we all need one of these all the time. I mean, you know, especially cause my, my, uh, my Veronica needs one. So if I have to summon on green, there's a chance to get her. Am I going to get her? No, probably not. But like. There's a chance to get her. This, this guy, I really don't want him. Um, and then Delthea is also pretty cool. Uh, uh, Dorothea. Dorothea is also pretty cool. Um, so, I mean, I wouldn't mind getting her. And obviously people like Fjorm. And Fjorm's pretty good. I mean, I don't really care much for Fjorm and the whole... Um, what's the what's the isolation effect? I mean, it's not really that big a deal to me. Um, even though I'm always complaining about dancers. But, uh, yeah. So this banner is incredibly good. Uh, if you're summoning on red, it's like the best banner ever made for this account, which kind of worries me because Like why are they giving you the three like, you know, when I, well, I consider Pala, Young Sheeta, and Byleth to be like the three of the best flyers in the game that are like, you know, five-star locked and, and just, you know, premium fodder and all that stuff 
these are some of the best flyers in the game. And, you know, the question is, like, why are they giving them to you so readily? And, and you know, you could even say, you know, if you want to include her, I mean, in terms of tanking this, like, I've faced some on defense, and it's like, there's no way around them. Like, they're just going to kill you because you can't kill them. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, you know, half of these units are the best flying units in the game, on top of, you know, having Fjorm, who is very useful on, on, a on Aether Raids. Like, the, the paranoia in me kind of comes out and says, you know, what, what is up with this banner? Why are they giving us so much? And, and it makes me wonder if um, we aren't getting a bunch of new flyer stuff, like out with the old and in with the new, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, have a, bait everybody with a banner this good, this good, and then just bring in a, a whole new crop of, like, ridiculous flying units with ridiculous skills and whatnot. So that's kind of what concerns me, which is why I haven't summoned, as you can see. I'm waiting for... I was waiting to see for the, the Mythic uh, rotation, the new Mythic units, and uh, they didn't disappoint. They did not disappoint. So if you blew all your if you blew all your um, summons on that one, uh, it would kind of suck because then you know if you really wanted all the stuff on here, <laughs> well you're out of luck. Um, and you see, I haven't summoned here either, but this is secondary priority to, um, to 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 not that to this. So I'm gonna summon as much as I can. Hopefully, okay. So let's um. I'm gonna go show uh, a thing real quick. So for summoning and all that stuff. So let's pause this for a second. Uh, okay. So for those of you who know what this is or don't know what this is, this is a calculator to tell you the probabilities of uh, getting what you want out of a banner. So let's take a look at. Let's put in the information for this banner. So we want a specific red focus unit because let's see, specific red focus unit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Because this is the only time it lets you do this. Um, this uh, let's put in five really quickly just to just I want to test something um, red okay so let's run this so on average which is this 50% you see here right it should take 767 orbs to get five of one specific unit um, because this is a double special heroes banner and you know it took you 767 to get uh, five of one unit the chances are in about uh, three and about half of that, you'll get, um, half of, half of one unit, right? So, you know, you multiply this by two and you get 10, right? So you, you get, you put 10 here and then this should be double whatever those, that number was, 15 something, right? Um, let's get, we need 11 for a plus 10, right? So on average, you'll need this many, uh, 1700 orbs to get... A plus 10 of one unit but what the what the interesting thing about this is is that um since there's two units and they both are equally as probable to get by the time you get a plus 10 of one you should get a plus 10 of another one so if you're going into this banner with these orbs with 1700 orbs you should basically guarantee well i mean not guarantee to guarantee you'd want to be 3000 right but what i'm saying is going in there probably you know it's a there's high probability that you'll get equal amounts of both and that's kind of backed up you know i was looking around to see for people summoning on this banner and there's not surprisingly there's not a lot of people summoning on this banner because they all kind of know it, it looks very suspect it looks very baity um so they're probably just waiting till the end and we'll see how that goes um but the main thing i want to point out is that uh there's one video that uh i found let me go let's go pause this and i can go find it real quick okay um, so yeah, I found, let's go look over here. So I found two videos actually. I found one, but this one's not wholly useful because they only have like 150 orbs or something like that. Um, but I don't really get much out of this one. So, you know, go check out this guy's channel if you want more uh, content. I don't, I don't know this person. I just <laughs> randomly looked them up. Um, but this one is the video, the main video I'm focusing on. Uh, this is a 480 orb summon session. Uh, by the end of this video, and you can go look here and, and subscribe to her if you want. Um... But by the end of this video, um, they had about they had five Sheetas and five Violets, which is good because, I mean, you should generally end up with a similar amount of each one uh, by the end. But the point about that is, uh, at 400, let's call it 500 orbs, you, she got, you know, five of each one. Uh, I have 1,000 orbs, so we can kind of round that up again to say maybe at 1,000 orbs, there's a good chance I can get 10 of each one, and that's plus nine for both. Um... But again, you should never take, like, look at someone else's summoning video, not their video, not my video, not anyone's video, as like, oh, my odds are going to be as good as theirs, because more often than not, they're they're really not going to be that good. Um, to get, this is, this is why I put that 5 here. So let's put this 5 here. 
on average at 50% of the time around you're gonna it's gonna take um, about 700 orbs so between 1,000 to 500 orbs to get the same results she got um, to, to have gotten that many copies of each one at like less than this like 25% of the people let's go see what we can uh, 480 orbs so she's at the top like 15 percentile of, of how lucky she got in that video and and you know so it's important to realize uh, mathematically that it's gonna be hard to get those results for the rest of us um, the, 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 well it's important to realize that those results are not common they are only 14 percent of the population who play this game something like that will happen for them um, but yeah so basically the the point being uh, we'll put 11 here the point being that uh, while the odds to get a plus 10 on them are, are still pretty low and it takes you about, like I said, 3,000 orbs to, to really get a plus 10, the point I want to make is that there's a good chance to... Let's, put, let's take this off and... Oh, hold on. Let's put this here put this back. The, the, the point I want to make is that even if I don't get plus 10 of each, there's still a lot of merge potential from this banner. Um, yeah, basically. Uh... Summer Byleth and 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 uh, Young Sheeta are good at like plus one merges to to get five more on top of that or some or whatever amount I get on top of that is basically just just you know just gains at that point like everything is just pure prof pure profit after the plus one merge. Um, so regardless of what what's going on, unless something like I said, there's still nine days, still about a week, um, unless a new banner is released and and people. So let's go look over here. For those of you who have seen the um, a lot of the summoning videos, like Tacho or uh, what's it, what's his name, uh, Phoenix Master One, as always, those are the main people I watch. And, and Acris hasn't made a video in a while, but you know it is what it is. Um, those people have been mentioning that uh, there's probably something coming after this Mythic Banner. Um, it looks kind of baity as well to them. And I mean, that's always kind of like <laughs> there's always something like I guess no matter what banner comes out. That's what everyone always says, right? This, oh, there's something coming out, there's something coming out. And it's like, well, then what's the thing that's coming out if, if you're saying that to this banner and the next banner that's coming anyway, right? But uh, regardless, they've been mentioning, you know, be careful. Don't, um, I mean, summon if you want to, right? But just be wary that there's probably something coming after this um, that you want to check out. But you have plenty of time for this banner, right? And if you have plenty of time for this banner to see what comes next, and this one ends a day after, so you still have plenty of time to summon on this one. So... I'll make the video of this one later. This isn't, again, like I said, this isn't a summoning video. This is just kind of telling you guys the the plans I have for this account and what, what you know what I've been doing. Um, but yeah, so, you know, Summer Byleth is going to be an excellent unit. Uh, finally, I'll have her. And, and I, I mentioned to you guys, for some of you, uh, I was like, when it comes down to having a red check on my team, it was either between Byleth or Sheeta or Young Sheeta. Sheeta. Young Sheeta. And, it, you know, this banner came out and was like, oh, you don't have to choose between the two. Merging one will get you as many copies as you want of the other one. So uh, I get, you know, very lucky in that sense. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to mention was like, it was weird how well things turned out. Um, like, like I said, I had to choose between, you know, Young Sheeta and Summer Byleth, and I went with Summer Byleth, but uh, little did I know a banner like this was on the way uh, where I could take both of them if I wanted to. So this is honestly like, it's hard for me to like fathom what could come out, you know, between now and the end of this banner that'll make me not want to summon on this banner. Um, but that also kind of worries me more because it's like, holy, holy crap, dude! Like, you know, <laughs> I mean, there has to be something better, right? There can't be. This can't be such a good deal. Like, it, it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's very worrisome. Uh, but like I said, I don't know what will stop me from summoning on this video. Uh, on top of, unfortunately, for those of you who know, I, I'm, you know, I play this kind of as a waifu collector, and uh, Byleth just fills too many uh, purposes. Like, she's a very good nuker, a uh, very good red check for my Aether Raid's defense, and then on top of that, um, she's also just, you know, she's Byleth. I mean, uh, I've wanted Byleth since the original Byleth came out in the game, but I didn't want to go buy three houses at the time just for a Byleth copy. Um, I wonder if... I'm not sure how that how that works. I mean, I didn't summon on the Byleth banner either because I don't like I don't need another red sword infantry unit. Um, but I wonder if if I were to go buy three houses, was that like a temporary thing? I'm not sure how that thing went, but I just know that you got a copy. I think if you got if you pre-ordered it or something, I don't. Know. But I was, I was just wondering if like there's a way to get her a copy of her if I could like buy three houses today or something. 
Uh, but I, I, I doubt that. But it doesn't really matter because she's more waifu in this one anyway. So, there we go. I mean, well, I guess they're kind of even. I really do like what she's wearing in the original version of her. She looks really... She's really elegant, very nice. Um, but like I said, most of you know, uh, I play this, you know, I, I'm not 100% a meta chaser, but, you know, I'll, I'll chase the meta when it's aligns with my goals of just kind of like having, you know, my favorite waifus kind of lying around. Um, and yeah, and this this is like, like I said, this is the ultimate banner for this account, which kind of worries me for like, you know, why is this so baity? Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So after I summon this, depending on how things go, um... Basically, right, you want to summon in according to, to this, right? So the, the more you don't get a 5-star, the higher the chances go up, and then they reset after you summon, right? That's a pity. Uh, depending on, on what pity, when I hit the pity, I might consider start spend, consider to start spending orbs on, on this banner, or depending on how many uh, copies I get of each one. Um, right now, you want at least a plus 4 of each of Young Sheeta and Young um, and Young Sheeta and Summer Violets because that's when from plus four to plus eight they don't get another attack boost which is the most important thing for both of them is you really want their attack to be as high as possible so until you reach is it plus eight or plus six I don't know but there's there's like you, you can go in there and, and see for yourself that go into the Fey unit builder and then do all that stuff um, but there's a cutoff so after a certain amount of merges you get an attack boost uh, an attack point and then after that. You won't get a few and then you know there's another cutoff it's like all right you want that at least to get the more attack points um but yeah so we'll see how that goes the summoning session goes and then uh depending on how many orbs i have left over i might summon on this banner um because these are all very excellent units um I'm, obviously i'm going to be summoning for green because i need another green uh defense unit but problematically it's hell which means i'm gonna have three axe three green axe units on my defense team on dark which is kind of dumb um, but I mean, I might change it around because Hell is there, so maybe I'll take one of the green um, axe users out. But you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so this, I'd want a copy of Freya. Well, yeah. So I guess I'll, I'll just review this banner. Um, we'll review this one first. Uh, it's not a whole lot more to say other than this is probably the highest probability to get like really high merges on these. Um, Byleth, this build here is pretty good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her. Um, Sturdy Impact, which I have an extra copy of. I'm going to give her Sturdy Impact to give her plus 10 to defense. Um, that way, if she fights against the dragon, the, the dragon's just going to snipe her defense and then destroy her. Because right now, it's it's 26 defense, and then uh, because she's going to be with two Mirabilises, that's 31 res. So they're both kind of middling, uh, but the, the, the good thing is, like, I can hit a, uh, a dragon and not... Well, I'm not going to get doubled back, right? So they're going to hit me once. So at least I can tank one hit and then uh, hit them twice and hopefully kill them. And then especially because Ruptured Sky is a one-turn cooldown special. Uh, and you're going to be getting double the damage from Ruptured Sky. So this is why Byleth was so beneficial to this team. So she's a green check, right? Uh, she's got range, which is one of the things I'm lacking, um, is having a lot of range. And for three, she's also a dragon check because of Ruptured Sky, right? So basically you make, a, you make her dragon check with Ruptured Sky. Um, not that you fight a lot of dragons on offense, and when you do fight them on offense, or yeah, when they attack your defense, it's usually like uh, Legendary Corrin, and she's reducing damage by like 30% and just killing everything on the one shot. Um, but I mean, it's better than nothing, right? So yeah, it's good to have this this dragon check here. Uh, like I said, I'm probably going to replace this with um, Sturdy Impact to deny their follow-up attacks, um, even though this n neutralizes effects that gives them follow-up attacks. But for some reason, if, if somehow they get more speed than her, even though she has a speed super boon, which I, hopefully I can, I can pull one. <laughs> uh, even though she has a speed super boon uh, and this and all that stuff, like it, even if um, if they outspeed her, Sturdy Impact will deny their follow-up attack. Um, and then this will deny their follow-up attack based on abilities, like if they have like Quick Repost or something. Um, so that's really good. Uh, the other thing is you need Wind Sweep here so that when she fights against like a bike or somebody, they can't counterattack. Um, unless, you know, bikes running like a Null C Disrupt or something like that, which a lot of them are, so keep that in mind. Um, but that's the point. So, Wind Sweep here will help you fight against so many threats that, um, yeah, just a lot of physical threats. Like, there's no one, there's probably no one who's going to outspeed her, and like, it, it means that she doesn't have to run Hardy Bearing as well, as well, right? So, like, you can fight against dagger units, right? Van CC Vantage's dagger units, because you just hit them and they can't counterattack at all, as opposed to Vantage in you. Um... That's that, and then I'm just going to give her a ward stack here, and then this one was supposed to be... This is flyer formation because she doesn't need the movement, um, and there's no 
wind, wind sweep seal. So flyer formation is going to be here. Uh, and yeah, so that, that's kind of the build I'm going to have for her. Attack speed push four versus sturdy impact is actually a pretty interesting debate. Uh, attack speed push four basically means that you're almost guaranteed never to uh, to get doubled. But sturdy impact kind of denies certain doubles, even if, if they will happen. But, you know, basically attack speed push four means you'll never, don't, <laughs> they should never really be happening. Um, the, the self damage is also kind of annoying. Uh, and lastly, the, um, no, that's about it, I think. Uh, lastly, Sturdy Impact just gives you 10 uh, defense whether rather than speed, and, and you kind of need the defense more just to make sure you don't get like killed by somebody uh, hitting defensively. Uh, but yeah, so that, that's that. Um, that's my plans for Byleth. Uh, just have her be a wind sweep. Like, just be broken, basically, as broken as she is. Uh, her, obviously, she's very good. She's decent on defense, but like, they need to attack into her for her to win a lot of matchups. So like, if she attacks into a bike, it's not going to go so well for her. Um, it's not gonna be horrible, but like you really want bike to attack into her and then you know because he'll have the damage reduction will be turned off if if he does that Because uh, even like an 80% damage reduction is still like she can't get through that. It's ridiculous um, But yeah, so uh, the build that she has here is basically what I'm gonna go with her I'm gonna give her a ward because you don't want any visible buffs on uh, defense uh, And then down here, I'm gonna give her a, a attack defense bond so that she has a 30 and 30 basically just for you know, aesthetic purposes, right? Uh, and then have a higher attack. So basically, you kind of want to boost your attack as much as you possibly can. Um, yeah, because uh, she needs to one shot. Like doubling people is not really always the best. You can't really, you know, you want you want her to one shot so that if they attack into her, so that they can't attack into her, right? So if they attack into her, she'll one shot them back on on the counter because she can attack first, even if she has full HP, right? She has the built-in advantage on here. So. Yeah, uh, and, you know, it's kind of hard to argue with this coverage here, especially like legendary leafs are out there um, Like if they attack if they decide to attack into her, she'll just like one shot them back like they just die uh, Of course Pala, I've already talked about Pala to a large extent um, She's very strong very useful uh, 33 defense and then um, with two mirabilis. She's at 34 res. So that's pretty cool uh, She's pretty bulky um, And yeah, I mean she's just overall just one of the best uh, blue lance flyers like everybody else is sort of a substitute to this um yeah i mean really i mean est is good uh she's got drag uh, dra uh armor effectiveness and all that stuff uh but she's i, I like it's it's kind of like there's not a whole lot of armors you have to worry about anymore um the only armor that people are using now is Bector, and he's not even an armor and on top of that it, you know the other one is uh what's his name Surter and like a plus 10 Surter with a plus 10 Est, it's a 50 50 whether you'll kill him because everything has to be in position. She has to be close to her allies and all that stuff. And, and you know, just hitting him once isn't going to kill him either. Uh, in most cases, you can, she can, right? Because she'll be bubbled up and then she can just hit him. But you know, in a lot of cases, she won't. She, if, if they're playing right, they can just kind of bait her out easily and then just like have her not do anything. Uh, she's just fodder, basically. I'm not going to really use her. Um, yeah, she's got too much good fodder to just leave her as a unit. Uh, of course, if you like Cav, um, if you like Cavs, there you go. Uh, I mean, she's also, like, in addition to being a Cav unit, she's got some pretty impressive Cavs. Um, but uh, this has got, you know, pretty, it's a pretty good effect uh, if you're running a Cav line. Like, she maybe she'll initiate first and someone else will come in and hit that same person and they're, redu they're reduced by six. Um, and she's got this, of course. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't run cab lines. I don't really care too many about too much about uh, cabs. Uh, this guy, obviously, you can you know tell I don't really care about him. I don't really. He doesn't have any good fodder, and I just don't want him. Um, Dorothea is pretty cool. Uh, this four units is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, just she just doesn't have much of a place. Um, and you know, you can't plus ten her easily, so you know she still loses out to Tethys anyway. Uh, and then obviously here uh, we have the Fjorm, which is going to be one of your better uh, AR offense units to stop dancing shenanigans and all that stuff. People are only two dancers anyway, so which is one of those things that's like why I don't care too much about it. Uh, but yeah, so you know Fjorm, she's all right. Um, so yeah, I mean this banner, like I said, this banner if you're pulling on red, it's 100%. I think you should go for it. You should wait, right? But you should go for it. Uh, this banner, this banner is actually so good that I am considering uh, actually picking up. Uh, Maybe not these. I don't think. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see how. You know, <laughs> it's like 50-50 whether I'll buy these or not. 
Um, but these are, are what's are what's really getting out. You know, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, 55 orbs and then uh, one ticket, which is another five orbs. Um, and the thing about this, you have to use this on this on this banner. Uh, and then 10,000 orbs. I mean, this I don't know why this is here. This might have been. This should have been like 10k here, and then they give you another 10k, so a 20, and then you get a free uh, five star. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's just it's just odd. Um, but yeah, so this is the only thing I might consider buying because uh, this is not really worthwhile because I don't really care about this, and I've already got enough of these to. Yeah, I already got enough of these, and there's not really anything for me to use them on anymore. I needed the the special spiral and the close counter in there, but I already got them, and Cronia's doing all right, so, you know. Uh, this might be, I mean, for those of you, like, if you ignore him, this might be a pretty good investment anyway, just because, like, these, these while the ones we have now aren't exactly, like, super mouth-watering, um, Akers is always saying we're going to get more, so if you want to take that in consideration, I, I think they'll probably get more, and hopefully as time goes on, they'll be a lot better, and, and you'll have, you know, just a uh, uh, further head start on that. Um, but yeah, so this isn't very useful to me. I don't really care too much about it. Um, and this one. Uh, I like her. She's pretty cool, but I don't really have a use for like this really mage nuker, and I'm already building a few mage nukes anyway. Um, she's also dragon effective, which is alright. But she's got a lot of great fodder. She's got mirror uh, impact. You can't fodder this skill off, unfortunately. Uh, she's also got attack res oath. So she's a very good uh, mage. Omni lull for dropped. Omni lull 2, I guess, essentially. Uh, so she's pretty good, I just don't have, like, I'm not, you know, I don't chase, like, these weird nukers and, and all that, so I don't really care too much. Um, these trait fruits, I mean, I guess if you need them, I, personally, I just, like, a lot of people are really after these trait fruits, but I think, like, they really want more, they want it to give us more, but I don't really have any, I think what we have now is alright. I mean, you shouldn't be able to, like, you know, change someone's trait, like, every few weeks or something like that. Uh, not really, it's, and it's not really that useful. Like a lot of people are just doing it just to do it, right? So like, who are you gonna like trait fruit that needs the, the stats? I mean, I already did my, um, my bulky, and then after that, no one else really needs it. Like, like, and I run a lot of tempest trials units. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. I mean, like they could use them, sure, but I'd rather just hold on to them and and just make sure that if I'm gonna give someone a trait, that it's the best trait they can get, rather than just like, oh, this one, this would be pretty good on it, let me just go boost it real quick, and then, you know, be on, be on about your business, um, but yeah, uh, and then there's this blessing, which is just kind of a waste, um, but yeah, so, I mean, this one, uh, you know, like I said, it's, I don't really care about that one, but yeah, if anything, I'll probably, I might get this, and I might, uh, I might get this, uh, this one's a little more iffy, but this one, like, the, this is the first thing I'll get, basically is what I'm saying, the first, the first priority is gonna be this, and if I still need more, then uh, obviously I'll get I'll get these. Um, so yeah, I've talked about this banner. Told you guys how ridiculous it is. Having seven uh, first summon tickets is basically the equivalent of having thirty-five orbs, which you know, as you can see, isn't a lot. It's actually you know <laughs> pretty abysmal. Um, but yeah, it's better than nothing. Um, and this banner here, um, let's I guess just go over it real quick. Uh, this one's actually a very good banner. Like I said, you know, everybody's been saying it's a good banner for green, and I, I really do agree with that. Uh, Freya, uh, basically your average green um, spurn tart unit or whatever. I mean, in, in this case, it's more, you know, it doesn't have any other effect on it, so it's not close call or spurn or anything like that. Um, but she has that built in and disencounter, so she can run attack speed solo. And um, personally, I think I'd probably run with something like uh, Kestrel Stance 3 here. Uh, gives her six attack and speed plus uh, reduces their cooldown by one, which is actually excessively important. Um, and then she also has pulse smoke. So, yeah, I mean it's just perfect. I mean I think I think uh, anyway, Kestrel stance is probably better on her. Um, and then binding luckless gives her two on everything, and uh, reduces their their stats by two, and then you know just jacks their uh, <laughs> panics their bonuses and then steals them. <laughs> like this is this right here is actually like this. In this is just ridiculous. Like this by themselves is dumb. Unfortunately, her stats are kind of middling. You probably hit the mid thirties, maybe maybe thirty on a plus ten, but that's a plus ten, right? And you know we're not exactly going to be running around a plus ten um, Freya. Uh, but there, it, she is something to keep an eye on because you're you know one season you're going to get your whole team is going to get you know wiped by a plus ten Freya, reducing all everybody's damage by forty and. Uh, Repanicking them or whatever and pulse smoking them so everybody's cooldowns get reset and then they hit into her and she's got Kestrel stance or something like that and then they were they, you know you can't get your special off like essentially um yeah I mean she looks pretty good honestly but like to me 
you know, if you ask yourself, do I want a plus 10 Freya or do I want a plus 10 bike or not bike, Bector or even bike, right? Like between her bike and Bector, I mean, I, I you know, I'd rather just have a plus 10 Bector uh, stat wise. Of course, you know, aesthetics wise, <laughs> I would always love a plus 10 Freya, but I don't got the orbs for that. Uh, especially just something just randomly just there. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's really good if you want to uh, try her out and, and, you know, stomp on some people. Hopefully I get one copy of her. I just, like I said, I like to collect them. So, you know, one copy would be nice. Now her is, she's far more interesting because now, thanks to her, you can run two, um, two dancers on um, dark defense, right? Which is pretty good. Uh, would I run all these skills on her? Probably not. I mean, I don't know. And on top of that, like I, like you guys have known already, my my um, defense on dark is for one pretty bad. Uh, for two, it's very now it's like we're getting to the point where it's way too green heavy. I have four of my units basically. If I don't change anything and I just put her in there, four of my units on Aetherade's defense for dark season are all green units. And there's not exactly a whole lot of red threats running or blue threats running around that you need to counter that many. That, that you need that many counters to it. Um, so I. While I think she's good, I really would have preferred her to be a different color. Like at least, at least blue, if not red, was would have would have been nice. Uh, but we got green, and it is what it is. And she's also a um, apparently she's a dancer that also likes to nuke. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, it's really annoying to me to have to like build my team around this unit because she's not going to offer a whole lot in terms of like. She's not, she's not a very good nuker, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, she's decent, but she's not very good. Reduce what? You reduce their defense and res by four in cardinal directions, but no one's going to be in cardinal directions anyway. Um, they just move out of the way. Or if they are in cardinal directions, it's Fjorm. Um, but yeah. Uh, so I don't know. This this weapon, to me, is just a waste of, of anything. Um, basically, the only thing this weapon has is reduce minus four when you attack as her, right? And she should never be attacking. You really don't want her to be attacking anybody because... She's going to die on the counter, and if she gets easily baited out, then, you know, there you go. You just lost your dancer. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I just, I really don't like the route they went with with her. Now, do I think all of them should just be, like, these tanky Mirabilis dancers? No, not necessarily, but, like, I mean, anything but this, right? Um, Frightful Dream is all right. It actually is better than people might think it is because the, the, the minus three to everything is fine, uh... But it's the guard that's really, really good because specials are a lot of times the only thing that that, that kills your units, um, and to take away their special charge is actually really ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, this is like the better. This is the best. One of the best uh, dances uh, for defense here. Um, attack speed push four. I don't know what I'm gonna put here. I mean, like you can't make her tanky, right? So you're not gonna give her. Um, what's that? Uh, what's that thing? Fortress Res Defense, right? She's not going to make her tanky. If you give her that, it's just a waste because she's not very tanky. Um, and, you know, just like, what else are you going to give her? There's, like, not a whole lot else to do. So, unfortunately, you might just kind of stick with that. I have to figure out what to do with her. Uh, I still haven't thought about, like, you know, yeah, like I said, I still haven't, like, kind of kind of figured out what I want to do with her. Um, but, you know, you just got to kind of go with it. Uh, aerobatics, you know, this is for when you run her on, like, you know, Infantry teams or all the, or anything like that. Uh, I run her on. A, I'm gonna be running around a flyer ball, so this isn't very useful. Uh, and speed defense, speed res rain isn't very useful either because it only helps her because um, both Camilla or Camilla, Young Pala, and Minerva, uh, Young Minerva, they're all physical, and it's probably not going to be an effect for Young Byleth or for Summer Byleth because um, it you know has to be in two spaces, so like the positioning might be kind of wonky. Um, so yeah, like, I, it's not going to help Young Violet either, so the only thing that's useful is the speed part, because if they attack into, like, your Camilla as your anchor, or whoever's your anchor, that'll probably reach them, because they have to be in melee range. If they're not in melee range, then there you go, that doesn't help either, right? Um, so yeah, I don't know, it's just not very useful. Uh, she's, I guess she's, I mean, she's just really supposed to be just like a mage, like a, like a hard-hitting mage, that's it. Um, <laughs> I don't really like it. Uh, but it is what it is, you know, like I said, I like her, uh, I like her dance, it's very good. Um, this isn't very useful and, and the rest of this stuff is just kind of like tacked on here just because they decided she was going to be a hard-hitting mage um, And the other green unit is going to be obviously um, hell uh, which you know Is obviously very good. It's just that This you need this HP to be at least 42 because if she gets hit by a panic manner or not a panic manner a um, 
a bolt tower, she's going to be out of range for her, like, built-in miracle thing here. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do with hell. I mean, I... Yeah. This is an Omni Rain skill, which is pretty good. But, like, Distant Counter is pretty good. She doesn't have a whole lot of res bulk, which... I've never run into, well, I haven't run into a whole lot of people using uh, res threats on AR defense. The thing I've been losing to most is going to be Leaf, but that's just has less to do with, like, my defense is necessarily weak. Well, you know, it, it is kind of, but, like, the thing about Leaf is that, like, you can just play the game before you can and, you know, take out three units by the time you, you know, you get to take a turn, half your defense is gone because of Leaf's design. Um, is Leaf uncounterable? No, of course not. I mean, like, you know what a cab line and basically, you know, <laughs> Leaf can't do anything, but then there's another solution to that, right? Uh, but the 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 defense, like like I said, no defense is perfect. And if my defense has basically only one weakness and it's Leaf, then you know I think I'm pretty good. Because um, that's basically the main thing I've been losing to, other than like, um, you know, super like like the bonus. Sometimes the bonus unit they have the bonus unit at like a plus ten for some reason, and they just like sit there and kill everybody instantly. Uh, but that's kind of like hard to hard to fight against. Uh, but yeah, health's pretty good. Um, against uh, physical threats, uh, she can't really die. Ooh, at least one. She has like a built-in miracle thing. Um, <laughs> this is all right, but I'd rather have the like guard, just guard regular, because Leaf attacks and he doesn't get his special charge, which means he won't have that extra turn. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's that. But yeah, I mean, she's pretty good. She'll just reduce your lift. I mean, she's better. Like like I said, for flying team, you you've got these two and you're solid. Now you just build a bunch of flyers around them. Uh, so green is pretty good. Uh, if I were to summon on this, my secondary color would probably be colorless. Because while I don't want to build a plus 10 uh, legendary Corrin, I, you know, uh, a plus 1. Uh, not a plus 1, but like just having her around would be pretty cool. Because I, I, you know, just, I like her, I like her get up and everything and I, and I like Corrin. Um, yeah, I mean, she's pretty cool. Um, there's not a whole lot, there's not a whole lot else to say. Um, you know, uh, I just, you know, one copy would be pretty cool. Uh, Leaf, uh, is just gonna get foddered. <laughs> like, I am going to, uh, HM farm him, uh, and then just fodder him off, because I really don't like Leaf. I don't, I mean, I might not even HM farm him, I just fodder him off just out of spite. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, and then obviously we've got Shin in here, who is excellent fodder. To get, one of the things I want to point out, to get everything effectively on him, you need two copies of Shin in to get all his skills. Like, he's got so much fodder, you need two copies to effectively fodder everything off. Uh, and to do that, you need to get the first copy, take a t lull attack speed 1 and 2, and take times pulse 1 and 2 onto that unit. And then fodder off um, Shinin again to that same unit, and then take Deadeye. Uh, oh, well, then you have to you also have to get attack defense solo from someone else. Um, and then, so, someone else, you, you take that from someone else, and then you fodder him off again the second version, the second time. You get Deadeye, you get Attack Defense four, Solo 4, you get Lola Attack Speed 3, and then you get uh, Time Spulse 3. Because you can only get 4 at a time, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically all there is to it. Is uh, It's kind of annoying that you need two two copies of him to do that, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I have one copy now, for those of you who saw that video. Um, so having another copy would be great, because I could finally fodder him off to... Uh, what's her name? Norn is who I'm going to put him on. Uh, cause Norn, sh the other day, Norn tanked an Ophelia, like a plus 10 Ophelia, like to the face without any like times pulse, anything like that. She like, she had the special, she hit her and then hit her again for her regular turn. And then, uh, Norn killed her. So I don't know. I'm just saying like, she, she is like ridiculously tanky. So I'm thinking about maybe running her as like a, um, just like a, a brawler, right? Cause Boki is there to CC advantage them, so they like she kills them before they start fighting theoretically. But she can fight if she has to. But I've been thinking about taking off Vantage from Norn, giving her the low attack speed to make her tankier, you know, slightly tankier at least. And then the Times Pulse to make her noon time a one turn cooldown. So they hit you because you're not going to Vantage anymore. They hit you, they charge it, and then your your first attack back will be the noon time. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, that's kind of my idea. Run her like that, make her as uh, tanky as possible and, and just have her just fight everybody just brawl um but you know we'll see how that goes oh yeah shinin good fodder um Kulis is a very good one 
Uh, Azura, you only need really one or two copies. If you're running her on defense, just take two copies. Um, she's not very useful anymore. I mean, I would just fire her off for this. Uh, but there's not a whole lot of people who can use this anyway, so I mean, it's kind of hard to really think about what you're gonna do with her. Um, and then Apotheosis, uh, Anna is all right. Uh, attack speed form is pretty cool. Uh, you can get seven off of that. Uh, and then you know, joint drive speed is a joint skill, so there you go. Uh, fodder, I don't really use her. Uh, red really sucks because uh, Sothis is really bad, and I'm not gonna run her on defense anymore as soon as I get like if I get her or her. So <laughs> uh, any more Sothis copies are just going to be there to you know boost my Sothis. <laughs> like uh, I don't want to fodder her off, even though she has Times Pulse, which is a very valuable skill uh, because I really like Sothis. Uh, so she's just gonna collect dust and merges. Essentially, is what the problem with that is. Uh, Sothis is not good until she reaches like plus eight or you know plus eight and, and above, right? Like she start she needs to get a lot of merges under her to really be like super fast, super damage dealy, and really hard to kill. Um, but as she is now, it's like it's kind of hard to deal. It's kind of easy to deal with her. Um, Blazing Elliewood, uh, I have a hatred for regular Elliewood, uh, so Blazing Elliewood kind of gets part of that. Um, I just don't really want to have anything to do with, with him, so hopefully I don't pull him if I do get him, if I do end up pulling on this. Uh, but one unit I do really need, which makes me kind of want to summon on the red, but I've never, I'm just going to summon on green, and uh, if I can't, if I'm forced to summon on red, hopefully the, my pity breaker is her. Because uh, I really need her attack speed push 4 and her, her low res 3 uh, again. Um, the last one I gave to Brenya. And it's been pretty good on her, but I need it for another unit now, which we'll, we'll go over some... The, the last part of this video is just going to be me going over some of my... Um, just some stuff like my count overview and, and, and looking at where uh, what units I'm, I'm working on and some suggestions to you guys. Um, unfortunately, I can't take this home speed for, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, so this and this will be really good on a unit I'm building currently. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. That's the banner. Um, I think it's really good. One of the better uh, Mythic banners we've had, because... Those of you know, I haven't summoned on a whole lot of Mythic Banners recently just because the units aren't really to my liking or to my, you know, to <laughs> me caring at all. Um, but yeah, so this is a pretty good one for, for green specifically. Um, but yeah, so let's go let's go over some units that I've been building and some units that I have plans to build. Uh, let's do learn skills, I guess. Uh, so these are these guys are HM farming right now. Um, as you can see here, she's at a plus nine at uh, plus eight. Uh, I'm just waiting for her to come back again and then get the plus 9 and then while I'm there just give her the plus 10 and just be done with it But I don't really use her like there's no pressure to do that right now because I don't use her in, in, in anything um, She's just kind of here and and ready um, Here's my sturdy impact fodder. Uh, I really <laughs> it's gonna suck to lose him But I mean, you know is what it is. I don't really like to barn. He's just very useful in that mode. The, what's that called the um the new mode where you have to choose, like, you have to kill those little assassins, those little dagger units or whatever. He's really good because he's got three movement and he hits really hard. So he just runs around hitting everybody and then killing them. Um, so, you know, hopefully I get another source of sturdy impact. But if I don't, I mean, I might have to take it off of him. Uh, what else? So in terms of projects, obviously my, my Roy has always been done. That Roy is never going anywhere because I'm not going to spend orbs on him. Uh, Itsuki... Is like way, way, way down the line. Uh, and it's only because of memes, because he has a stand. Uh, I, I, I want to have him plus 10 just for just for the sake of that, just because you know he's the only stand user in uh, in Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, him and like the I guess the other ones from Tokyo Mirage, has, Mirage Session also have stands, but he's the he's the main one. Um, who else? What else? Let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of projects here in the red anymore. Um, obviously Altina, you always want more merges on her, it can never hurt. Uh, Sothis, like I said, Sothis can be can be good uh, once you get her to a certain amount of merges, but I'm probably never going to reach that point anyway. Uh, for those of you who saw, I pulled on that um, special spiral banner, I think that's what that banner was for, yeah. And I got a second, co another copy, a third copy at this point of Igreen. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, basically, she has Pulse Smoke and this. Pulse Smoke is most, more important. Uh, not a whole lot of people can really use Special Spiral other than like, you know, Kronia, and she already has it. Um, but Pulse Smoke, I really, really, really do need this. I'm going to put this probably on my Norn. Uh, yeah, because Boki has uh, sp Speed Defense Rain. Uh, so I'm probably going to give this to, to to Norn so that, you know, I don't have to worry about getting Pulse um, getting, you know, Infantry Pulse nuked anymore. 
because uh, it's it's really been hurting <laughs> on on light season to not have a pulse smoke user. Um, so you know that's something that'll be pretty cool. So if you're if you've been looking here, I guess you can see here. I am now building a plus ten Tharja, which is I've been wanting to do since like forever. I just never had the resources, but now I've been HM farming um, a lot and I've been playing a lot, so I've been getting a lot of feathers. Um, and there you go. I, I, I've got her up to a plus five so far. Uh, ignore this. This isn't going to stay on her, but um, yeah, I mean, Tharja's Hex is pretty cool. I want to, this is why I want the, the, what's it called, to pull the Lysithia, because she's got attack speed uh, push four, which is good for her, and the low speed res. Which is pretty good because low speed res will synchronize with this for a low speed 7. So they're just dropping 7 speed, which makes it... She's not the fastest unit, but she can double if with that low skill and with the uh, push speed 4. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then, you know, obviously, you know, you reduce their res so you can hit harder. Um, and then here, uh, I don't know, I'll probably get like, just give her like a res smoke or something. Uh, and then death blow. Anything here. Basically, what I want to do here is give her maybe like the heavy blade, so that she can trigger her um, her special easier. Um, yeah, I probably just give her the heavy blade. Right now, someone else is using it, so I have her on death blow. But that's essentially the point because uh, the her I'm gonna pair. I pair her up right now. She's paired up with um, Azura, legendary Azura, because Azura gives her buffs, and then she dances her, and it gives her buff to everything, right? So she's a plus six, and maybe plus seven in the future, but who knows? A uh, plus six to everything, which basically means all six of those, all twenty-four of that stat total bonus gets dumped into her attack stat. So her attack stat reaches up to um, fifty-five plus twenty-four is seventy-five plus the six because it's a six a six attack boost. So um, it's eighty-one plus the seven from the push is uh, what? 81, 88, plus the 6 from Death Blow, which, I mean, it's not always going to be there, but, you know, 88, or, yeah, I mean, basically, she's already reaching 88 attack, and no other unit's going to reach 88 attack, but then you have to consider that you're dropping their attack by another 4, um, and there you go, I mean, you're going to, no matter what, you're going to have your, your Heavy Blade active all the time, and, and hitting people for, like, right now, it's Draconic Aura, but I'm probably going to give her um, Dragon Fang, or Draconic Fang, I don't remember what it's called, Dragon Fang, I think, um, which is like 50% of her attack, and if she's, she hits somebody with like a, a 100 attack, right, that's, you know, 50 damage, so no one's going to survive 150 um, attack, right, so that's kind of what the, the point of that is. Um, but yeah, so, you know, there you go, that's the project I'm working on right now, plus 10 Tharja. Uh, what else? Um, Vector, I'm always, I mean, I'm always working on Vector, but, you know, getting Vector copies isn't going to be easy, especially he hasn't, he hasn't come out in a whole lot of banners. I mean, he came out in one of the focus banners recently, but I'm not going to pull on that. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's always going to be good. Uh, who else? I mean, I'm always working on Patrine, but I'm not going to use Grails on her. I'm just going to wait till her, her rerun comes back and then get a few more copies from there. And then, uh, yeah, I know she, she's, she's a, she's a long-term project. I just, you know, I need a Lance Cav unit and there's no other Lance Cav units I really care too much about. Uh, Death Knight looks pretty cool. Looked pretty cool, but uh, having the the condition on his weapon is kind of annoying. Uh, her condition is actually pretty easy. So I mean, not only that, but having a beast effective unit is also pretty useful as well. Uh, in case beasts start like just running around everywhere. Um, so not that they're very they're not a big deal now, obviously. But you know, like I said, in the future they might be. Um, I gave her Fury three just to be able to have uh, desperation, and then you know. If like I like I mentioned in that video talking about her, if she gets under fifty percent, I'm I'm hitting her their their defense stat, which in some cases you want to do that. So she has theoretically, um, she has a theoretical adaptive damage, but um, I think in the long run you're probably not going to want that. So in the in the long run, I'm probably going to have her run with um, distant counter here, and then like a uh, uh, yeah I don't know I have to figure out what's going on. Maybe like a lull, probably a lull skill here would be pretty good. Uh, and then other stuff too, but like I said, she's not really fully invested in, in you know, Fury is just kind of something you slap on all your units <laughs> for now. As it, well, if you could see, I mean, my, my Itsuki has it, every, like basically everybody who, I don't know what to put on their A slot, uh, has this. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really good. I mean, 46 speed, 47, 57 attack because of this is, is pretty decent. Um, if someone else has my speed res solo right now, but if I had that, I would probably put that on her and then boost her... Um, her res up to 34, yeah, 34. 34 and 35 is pretty good, and then, you know, just a ridiculous amount of speed. Uh, plus six speed, and then minus there, five speed is 11 point swing for your favor. That's pretty cool. 
Uh, so yeah, so she's a long-term project. Of course, like I said, there's a possibility to get more um, Pala merges, so that's pretty cool. Uh, these two were some of the earlier units I used on AR defense, but as you can see now, they're kind of abandoned. As unfortunate as it may be. Um, who are some other units? I mean, she's getting her refined pretty soon, so that's pretty cool. I'm probably not going to build a plus 10 one. I mean, if you don't already have a plus 10 by this point, then, I mean, you're probably, you know, probably not worth it. Uh, Nagas and all that stuff always more useful. Uh, Brunya, this is where my Brunya's at right now. Uh, she's at a... Uh, I need to replace this Glacies with something. Um, and this probably needs to be something else, but I just, you know, everybody else is using the rest of them. But yeah, for the time being, she's, she's very good. Um, she's been doing pretty well. She just nukes really hard. Um, and she, she can't, the, the thing about her is she can't be debuffed, and if she is debuffed, or she's less than 100%, then, um, she'll be, she'll get a plus four to everything, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? My, this is where my echidna's at right now. So my echidna is, is alright. I think, I mean, to me, the problem being <laughs> is that, uh, I started investing into echidna, and I'm not just, I'm just gonna finish her up, uh, just cause I like her, and, and I think she's pretty cool looking. Um, I mean, look at her, she just looks awesome. Uh, but unfortunately, she's probably, she just like got overshadowed like a whole bunch by the release of Hannah. Like at a plus one, Hannah already has, without even a speed boon, more speed than, um, <laughs> than, than her at a plus five, right? So everything I want to do with her is basically done better by Hannah anyway. Um... And like I said, on top of the the fact that she has a speed super boon, basically she's at 49 at a plus one merge. So, yeah, I mean, you know, give her... She, she has Wrath right now because I don't have anything else, but I'll probably give her Spurn. Um, and then just invest in her over time. Like I said, uh, Grail units are... I don't have a whole lot of Grails to go around right now. And the first one, the one I need to finish up is going to be um, Brunya first. And then after Brunya will be, uh, will be Hannah. Uh, and that's, you know, that's that. Uh, here's another unit. So, I want a speed boon on her, so I'm going to use trait fruits for that. And her, I might run a speed boon at some point, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, I mean, speed is the only thing she really needs. I've been thinking about, I saw a pretty interesting looking Minerva the other day. Um, because she has one, one, uh, special acceleration on here, it means that, um, Gale Force is a two-turn cool, is a, is a four-turn cooldown special. Uh, you couple that with her high speed, right? And then if you give her a speed boon, she's at 49. Couple that with her high speed and like a heavy blade here. And she can she can double people. And, you know, what they had, I'm not, I'm probably not going to go get it for her specifically, but what they had was Dive Bomb. Um, so there you go. I mean, she, she just comes in, uh, hits someone twice, charges the Gale Force, and hits them twice again. And there you go. I mean, she, and she just sits there tanking everything because she's unkillable. Um... So yeah, I think that I think she's pretty good. I think that's a pretty interesting build and something I'd like to try out at some point. But uh, for now, she's just sitting here being a very hard to kill tank and and you know hopefully hitting killing people with uh, with Ignis because it's a three cooldown special. Um, but yeah, so you know, there's that. Uh, like I said, speed boon maybe, but uh, you know, is it is it vital? Am I gonna like am I gonna lose matchups because I don't have two extra speed? Not really. It's not that important. Uh, of course, my Camilla. Um, Still trying to make her as tanky as humanly possible, and it's still not um, <laughs> coming to fruition as much. Um, what else? Who else am I building? Who else am I working on? Uh, Norn is finished, so, you know, there's that. Uh, obviously, you have the Shin in here. I recently pulled a Bernie for some reason, uh, and she's got low attack speed and, and, and this. So this is very this is going to be very useful for a, uh, a good defense you know, someone, someone, just, just, uh, physical, physical attacker. I just don't know who to give it to yet. Uh, here's obviously, here's Loki. Um, she hasn't changed a whole lot. I just gave her the speed defense right now. This is basically like final form Loki. She's actually really good, um, now. Uh, I took off the IO shield because now I'm running her and Norn on, on offense. Uh, and it's kind of what I said, uh, earlier, right? You... If you look at the team and you see that they have a bow user, then just switch over to Norn. But a lot of times they don't have bow users, so you can just run the Loki and you'll be fine. 
Um, and now you can you can pick off the IO shield and then run something useful on her like attack defense solo. Um, basically boosting her attack to pretty ridiculous levels. So right now she's at 60, plus the Spendthrift Bow is at um, 67. And then you drop their, their attack by another 7. So, I mean, you know, just for comparative sake. Uh, but yeah, so she, she now hits a lot harder. And then you get the plus 4 here. So 67, 71 basically. She has 71 attack. Uh, and then the speed also gives her... She's at 48 plus another... 48 is 52 speed uh, in total so she shouldn't be getting doubled and you know she like I said she can brawl if she needs to but you know as a CC vantage user you don't want her to do that uh, this is that one Layla I summoned from that session I told you that I, I had on camera but this is like I pulled her off of a uh, daily yeah the, she she came out on a banner with like two other dagger units which were like four star base I think uh, but I just like I was like okay I'm just gonna do my free summon and then in my brain I was like I'm gonna pull a Layla off this orb, and then I, I clicked on the orb, and it was a Layla. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, you only really need one copy of her. Like, you're either gonna plus 10 her or keep her at, at what she is now. And if you're gonna plus one her, you want a plus attack one so that you can have 60 attack and then just hit people really hard. Uh, but I, I think I could really use the um, the life and death four and give it to somebody. Probably gonna give it to Air. So that she has more attack than Norn, attack plus speed than Norn does, uh, so she can soak the chills off of her. Um, but yeah, that's why she's sitting here. I haven't foddered her off yet. I'm just thinking about it. Of course, my uh, Tamari uh, Tethys is still here, and awesome as ever. Uh, this is supposed to be attack defense solo, but obviously Loki's using it for this season. Um, yeah, and obviously you know my pride and joy, Felicia, gotten me through a lot of uh, good Astro matches. Another. Another target for plus 10 is going to be Kagero. Uh, for no other reason than, for one, I mean, it's Kagero. She looks really cute. Uh, two, she's a dagger unit. Uh, this dagger's not actually that bad. If she has higher attack, she gets plus four to both, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then on top of that, I do think that she... It feels to me like there's a lot of units that I feel like should get a uh, resplendent alt, and I think Kagero's one of them. Along with, well, I mean, eventually, this is going to be a long time coming, but eventually, probably Felicia's going to get one. Maybe, hopefully, <laughs> is, is my hope. Uh, and the other one that I'm hoping will get a, refi uh, a resplendent refine soon will be uh, Camilla. It'd be really nice to have a, uh, uh, you know, a refined Camilla, because then basically, basically for aesthetic purposes, right? Because she'll have 40 speed, so it's a nice round number. Uh, 45 res and defense, which is another nice, <laughs> good number to have. Um, but yeah, having a a, 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 a resplendent refined Camilla would be cool. Uh, Kagero, I'm not I'm not doing I'm not investing in Kagero for a plus ten because I think she'll get a refine because she she probably won't, she may not right like there's a good chance she won't but I'm just doing it anyway and if she does get a refine that'd be pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I have like eleven Kageros and none of them have plus attack so plus speed for now it is which is pretty garbage. Of course. Uh, Cecilia has been here since forever, uh, waiting for her refine, or for her plus 10 merging, but I just not have not had the resources and time to invest into really making her useful. Uh, her armor weakness is actually pretty huge, like, she just dies too often. And despite having, like, pretty good bulk, like, she, I don't know what this is, but she just dies, like, all the time to everything. Uh, and it's probably just because she gets doubled. Um, I mean, that's probably the biggest reason for it. Uh, but that's alright, so I'll just have to figure out what to do with her, um... Like I said, she's not very useful. Uh, she's not as useful as many other people because she can't force her own doubles on on player phase. She can, you know, she can quicker post uh, with the special spiral, which is pretty cool. But you know, other than that, it's like it's kind of hard to, to deal with. Um, of course, air always want more mer merges on her, especially now. I need more because she could soak chill chills and she could soak um, bright shrines off of um, what's her name, Boki, because she has lower stats. But now she can't soak them off of Norn, which is why I need more merges and, and why I'm considering giving her the life and death for. Um, so that's that. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, Veronica. Attack speed. If I ever get like a spare attack speed push four, I'm just going to give it to Veronica because she needs it really mad. I gave her... This is like close counter. This is like the first close counter I ever got in this game. We're talking like way three years ago. Three like, you know, it's almost like three and a half years ago now. Uh, three years ago, I gave her this, and uh, ever since, it's been just a huge waste. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just bad. Uh, I wanted her on defense, and I still might put her there on defense, but I'll have to think about it now, because 
the the thirty percent reduction, like this game, isn't really at the point where a thirty percent reduction is is huge. You're probably just gonna reduce like three damage, which isn't a whole lot, especially because uh, you can just run like a ward instead of her, and then uh, reduce damage by four because you're giving yourself four attack and def or defense and res. Um, but yeah, now you could run both. You could run a ward on her and the Caduceus staff, and then you know. There you go, but like, like I said, it's just an opportunity cost you're losing with her. Uh, especially because you do also need enough physical attack, because she's occupying the same space that um, Summer Byleth is going to be occupying. So until I get Summer Byleth, she's going to be here, but you know, once I get her, she's going to replace her and just have a ward there. Because if it's because right now she has the ground orders to help, what's his name, um, to help Duma move around, but... Uh, I'm going to take Duma off eventually, so this can be replaced, but for now, that needs to be there. So, if it's between Caduceus Staff and the, the what's it called, the Ward, I'm probably going to take the Ward and then have a good Nuker rather than have her and then maybe a Ward here. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, so that's the account. Uh, those are the investments I'm working on. Uh, There's a lot of stuff I'd, I'd like to do. I mean, I, I was thinking about Gangrel, Gangrel uh, at some point, but... I've already got Kranya. I've already got Felicia, Kranya, and Kagura. So Gengarl is probably not going to happen. Uh, on top of the fact that he's not, in fact, uh, waifu material at all. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just that his dagger is like I, I really like. Well, I don't wish Kranya had this dagger, but this dagger is pretty amazing. Um, you get plus four to everything, which is, e and it's easier to activate because it's just penalties. So you're you're losing one attack and one speed to gain um, four uh, defense and four res, which is pretty ridiculous. Because uh, it's a plus ten stat total for Kranya and a plus twelve stat total for Gangrel. Uh, the other thing is, no, four times four is sixteen, plus sixteen, so plus ten for plus sixteen. Um, and the other thing is, you don't even lose that much attack. Like you're losing one point of attack to gain a twenty percent true damage based on res, which you can, if you get his res, well, you can get his res to like 40 pretty easily and then have him hit for uh, 8 true damage, which is higher than every, because all the other true damage, like piercing things or whatever, are all like, capped at 7. It's like, oh, you can't go higher than 7, but there's no cap on this. So you can hit someone for 8, which I think you want You want at least 8 to make it worthwhile. The fact, like To make the fact that there is no cap worthwhile, you want to make it at least 8. Um, but yeah, like, you, if you're running, like, you basically you have to treat him the way you treat my... Um, What's her name? My, uh, broadly fan Felicia, right? You just run Tethys, and they're all debuffed, and then they have the panic, so they're probably going to be debuffed even more. And then you, you hit the first target, and you probably kill him because it's Gangrel. Uh, and then after that, everybody's debuffed for 7 defense res. And then on top of that, you can run an attack boon on him, and his health won't drop below 71, which means you're, you're over the, what's it called, the panic manner stats. So, for those of you who... who who've been thinking about running a, uh, a Gangrel over Felicia or over Kronia or over Kagero, which I'm not running Kagero yet, but I mean, I, I would like to eventually. Uh, those of you who are thinking about running Gangrel over him, I think just like, don't even worry about it. Like he's a, he's an excellent investment and I would if I could, but I, right now I don't have the resources to do it. Cause, and it's not like, I, it's not like it's anyone's fault. It's my fault for spreading myself too thin in too many projects. But yeah, like I said, I just want to like, like I said, have some, show you guys what I'm building and give you guys some recommendations. And Gangrel will always have a high recommendation from me. Because, uh, yeah, that, that, that dagger is ridiculous. Um, you just run, like, basically figure out how to give him at least 40 res. And then give him, like, I'd probably run the attack defense solo skill. And then um, you can run Vantage on him. But I think it'd be pretty fun to run something like a lull or something. Or just or like a, even like a... Have him run Glimmer with the special spiral or something like that. I don't know. But yeah. Um, I think specifically him, like if they make, cause I remember I talked about this a while ago, but I remember when Acris was saying that he wanted a vantage in the seek in the sacred slot in the seal in the, in the here. Um, I think as soon as that happens, you're basically just going to throw Kranya out the window because that's ridiculous. You can run a guy that you could put vantage in the seal Special spiral in the in the in the B slot have eight true damage on the dagger plus sixteen extra stats from the dagger and run the defense um, 
the not the defense run the uh the pulse smoke and the close counter like he's like he's, you, you're gonna just basically make Gengrel the end all be all of um <laughs> of cc vantage dagger units um the only other thing would be someone like a like a good a well-built matthew or something like that with uh like broadly fan or, or just whichever one has the highest attack um but basically yeah like you're gonna make him just overly ridiculous for everything. Um, other than that, you probably just run. I mean, you could still run it on him too, right? Just run the broadly fan glimmer special spiral vantage, and you're hitting someone for like probably 80 attack with a glimmer on top of that every single time now. Yeah, I, I just like <laughs> I'm still not like I'm still at the point where I think that's the dumbest thing he's ever said. Like I've, I've never heard anyone say anything dumber than um, we should get vantage in the in the sacred slot. Uh, will they do it eventually? I don't know. I. I certainly hope they don't, but uh, it still doesn't mean it, it won't be dumb, even if they do do it. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Because like, like I've mentioned this before, <laughs> change skills. I already have Special Spiral on my Felicia. All I got to do is give her like a Glimmer, or not even a Glimmer. Okay, well, no, yeah, it has to be Glimmer. Just give her like a Glimmer and have her hit people for ridiculous amounts, right? So there's my, there's my Special Spiral. Like, she's already good to go. Like, and this is like, like I'm saying, like I'm always saying, like, this is this is Felicia we're talking about. She's a really bad unit. Like imagine all that stuff on Gangrel. Like he'd be unstoppable. Um, what else was I gonna show? I think that's it um, for the most part. Just wanted to talk about Gangrel. I've been really sort of like wishing that I could build a Gangrel, but um, I'm kind of stopped by myself. Really, uh, she's got this heart because she had a speed boon, but she doesn't need that heart anymore. Uh, what else? The other one, the other unit I've been really thinking about a lot is building a Pan. Or Pan A, I'm not sure. But I've already fought her two of her off, and she's a she's a um, she's a Grand Hero battle unit. Yeah, GHB unit, uh, which means she requires Grails, and I've already lost two of her. <laughs> um, I think I might have lost three of her when she came back. I think she's come back already, and I lost another one. Uh, at the time, I didn't value her very much because I didn't value for one. I didn't value calves um, a whole lot, and. Um, I didn't value these beasts a whole lot, but after taking a look at her her abilities and all that stuff, uh, she's actually pretty good. Um, if you have your Pan A and you haven't fought her any of her off and you're thinking about building her, I think she's pretty good. Having Cav Effectiveness is, is kind of rare. Um, not to mention, she can she has a Fury Three without the without the self help without the self harm thing. Um, whenever she's transformed or whenever she's solo, she's got a solo three basically a solo Omni three or some whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, you can make her pretty fast. I had her built on light season, and she can hit like 50 speed. And you can run around doubling people, and then, you know, 53 from that or whatever. And, and run like a lull skill on her. And uh, basically reduce their attack and defense by 4. And make it easy to kill them, and then they can't double you, even if even if they do outspeed you. Uh, so yeah, I think she's pretty good. And I, I fought my friend. The reason I wanted to build her is because I have actually fought a lot of her on defense. On AR when they when they're on AR defense, and they're really annoying. Like they run like an you'll run like an attack defense lull, um, and then she's like super bulky and just hard to kill, and she just hits everybody for free. Um, but yeah, so like I said, Panay looks pretty fun, uh, but unfortunately I've already lost too many of her for her because she has a defense smoke and I've needed that for a bunch of units. Uh, so unfortunately, my uh, that's my loss at this point, and uh, I'm probably not going to build her at, 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 uh, soon, unless like something happens where we start getting more Grails. But I really hope we don't get more Grails because I like the speed at which I get them now. And granted, you always want them, you <clears throat> you always want to get them faster, but it's important to realize that it's, there's nothing wrong with taking your time and and, and having things be limited, right? So. Uh, the speed at which you get them, I think now is, is good. So I'm I'm fine with that. I, I'd be okay with not getting any more, um, not increase, not ramping up the, the the speed at which we get grails. Um, especially because like there's feather there's feather like um, restrictions. Like if you had all the grails to just plus ten a unit, do you have the feathers to do it? No, you just wasted a bunch of grails just to get all ten of them just because you wanted them at now. Um, so there's there's really no reason to like. For, at least for my account, for, for me anyway, there's really no reason for me to like run around rushing, trying to like, oh, I don't have enough grails for this, I don't have enough grail for that. I mean, you know, I'm building my Brenya up, you know, one one merge at a time, you know, the same as all of us. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, let's see. I guess in terms of like Aether Raids, I am not making tier 27 this week. 
Uh, let's go take a look here at it to keep at defense results. Uh, and that's because of this. Uh, five, uh, that's one loss, one loss, one loss, and another loss. So I lost 200 points on defense because for those of you who uh, have been paying attention from before, uh, this is light season. My light season is absolutely garbage. Or this is dark season, I guess, on defense. It's, it's just absolutely garbage. Um, this is my current uh, anima season setup which is it's been pretty good i don't obviously i don't lose 200 um <laughs> i don't lose 200 lift every single time someone every season um yeah, it was pretty good um wash doesn't do a whole lot like i said the kadusha staff doesn't do a whole lot uh it still does quite a bit so at least uh, at least it's something uh, but i really do want to replace like as soon as i get you know basically just a one more week with this defense and uh, i'll be solid uh because next next time astra come or anima comes around i'll have Summer Byleth and and, uh, and Young Sheeta. What I'm thinking is probably putting Young Sheeta here and then Summer Byleth here. And while, because I don't have another Mirabilis anyway. So while I'm getting another Mirabilis, then I'll worry about it then. But having, so she's going to have a ward and he's gonna, she's going to have a ward. Um, just basically ward stack her. So she'll have a plus one, two, three, four. So plus 16 to defense and res. Uh, and then plus another so plus 20 to defense and res because of this so she'll be at 63 and 63 but uh she'll be at 73 defense because well 78 or 68 defense because she gives out uh, plus five res um, but yeah so i think it's worth taking like reducing so right now i have them both to reduce how much lift loss how much lift i lose but i think it's worth taking duma out and putting something in there that'll just make sure i won't lose any lift at all which being that being the um that being the, uh, what's her name? <laughs> the Young Sheeta. Uh, rather than reducing how much lift I'm losing now. So I think that should that, that team will be a lot better. Uh, and there we go. I mean, I think that'll be solid at that point. Because I'll have two greens for blue checks. Uh, one red check. Which isn't, you know, there's not a whole lot of red checks. and There's not a whole lot of reds to check anyway, right? Um, and then I can replace this hardy bearing with like a heavy blade. Because um, here will be Summer Byleth. And uh, Summer Byleth with Wind Sweep won't be vantaged, so there you go. And then having Young Sheeta here. So basically, the point is, the thing is, uh, Leaf is the biggest problem. So I need to have, I need to make sure all the all the places vulnerable to Leaf are guarded the way they should be guarded. So if Leaf stands here, he can hit here and here. I have to do something. I have to put something here. But if Leaf, so if they put Leaf here, he can hit her. Or, her, or that's going to be Young Sheeta eventually. He, he'll lose against Young Sheeta and he'll lose against... And he won't get his special charge off of her because of this. Right? 100%. They'll be at 100% and she'll gain plus 4 to everything, whatever. And the, the, the cool charge, cooldown charge plus 1. If he hits her, she has guard, so that won't work either. Right? So that's kind of my, the, the main point is... You have to like... These three are the most vulnerable positions... And I, I need to, yeah, I need to put something here. I mean, right now it's not that big a deal because I really don't, like, my defense is going to suck regardless, but. <sighs> yeah. Um, I need to put something here because then they could just stand here and kill her. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, I'll have to figure this out. But, yeah, uh, these three are going to be the most vulnerable uh, ones to, to worry about. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. But, yeah, like, if he stands here, obviously he's got like free reign on him or her. But the point of that would be that like he's already this far deep in that like if he, he if he's here and he hits her, he can move again. But where's he gonna move to? He can go here, here, or he can go here, or here, or here. But then that's in range of everyone else, and they're just gonna kill him. Um, so the the thing is like these posi this position here, this position here, and like this position is not also eh, it's not not very safe. But this position and this position here. Gives you access to him, him, and her. Him, him, her, and her. Right? And this is the, these are the safest positions. So he's going to want to hit here or here. Usually right now, a lot of Leafs uh, dodge her. And then just come here and hit him. Uh, and then their special is charged. So they can just move out and then just like have, have them fall apart as they're moving this way. Uh, but as soon as I put Sheeta here, he won't be able to just hit her anymore. And then he'll have to either fight her. Uh, or try to figure out something else sneaky. Something sneaky to do somewhere else, right? Um... <laughs> But yeah, so that's kind of the the idea there. Um, but yeah, so on on so that yeah, I guess that's that. I mean, there's not a whole lot else to go over. Um, don't have a whole lot of feathers because I've been boosting up 
Uh, I would have a whole lot of feathers, but don't have a whole lot now because I've been boosting up uh, Darja, and it's kind of what happens when you don't have a whole lot um, to do. Like you just start gaining feathers, and there's not a whole lot of projects you have to that you can work on. Uh, I haven't. I could, you know, I could use those to boost her by two more. Uh, but I'd like to have at least, I always like to have 40 just saved for whatever reason, just in case. So uh, every time I go over 40, like 60, then I'll use them. Um, but this is kind of what happens when you don't have anything to merge. Because my Echidna, I don't have any extra Echidna copies. I don't have any extra Brunya copies, which are my two main merge projects. Um, so, you know, you always just get like a third one. I don't have like a, a, a red Mage Nuker. Eventually, you kind of want to have like a role for everything filled, right? So I have a blue Mage Nuker. I have a green Mage Nuker, which is my... Um, Brave, <laughs> what's her name? Brave Micaiah. Uh, I don't have a red mage nuker, so that's why I'm building Tharja. And then I'll have a blue mage nuker, so that's why I'm building um, Brunya. I have, yeah. Um, and then again, so like, you know, infantry stuff. So I don't, I have a green, I have a red, uh, a red sword user. Um, I have, I don't have a green axe wielder. Um, I don't have a green, I don't have a blue lance user that's a infantry, but Bector basically fulfills that purpose. So he fills, yeah. So I have a blue lance unit and it's Bector. So <laughs> there he is. That's all I got. That's all I, that's all you really need till the end of time, honestly. Um, but having a blue lance, a blue lance um, cav is pretty good, right? So it's, it's slightly different because you have more movement and there's a lot more things to consider there. So that's why I have, uh, that's why I started building, um, what's her name? Uh, yeah, my friend, I can't forget her name. Patrine, yeah. That's why I started building Patrine. Um, but yeah, so you kind of want to fill out like your box with 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 various things. So like, I don't use a whole lot of calves, so like I'm missing like a uh, like a cav nuker. Like I, I could make a Reinhardt, but I don't like Reinhardt, and I'm, there's no other like good cav um, range us users. And you know, like there's her right, but you know, I'm not gonna you know spend uh, uh, what's it called Grails on something like that. So you kind of want to like just slowly, you don't have to do everything, right? I don't have everything. I mean, I've had two years and I barely, only just now building a plus 10 uh, green axe unit, right? I had this game for, you know, three years and I, I don't have a plus 10 uh, lance user, right? So it's not that big a deal. I just kind of over time, just build up your box. I do have a, a green axe flyer, but that's different than a green axe, like, you know, infantry unit. Because, you know, she's got different purposes and they fulfill different, you know, needs. Um, but you know, funnily enough, I have two green X, <laughs> two green X flyers before I have one uh, plus ten green X uh, infantry unit. Of course, a lot of my concentrations are on like colorless units, so you know, a lot of my plus ten. That's a plus ten, plus ten, plus ten, uh, plus ten. I want a plus ten. Uh, I'd like to plus ten. I'd like to plus ten. So a lot of the stuff I just like a lot of colorless units because you know they're just really good. Um, and what else? <laughs> I guess lastly, um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what Camilla's Refine will be uh, later. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a Attack or Speed Boon, even though I have two or three copies of her in there. Yeah, I have two copies of her in there. Um, so that kind of sucks. Uh, of course, you might wonder why I have her here and not like on my defense team. She doesn't hit hard enough to be like the, the Mage Nuker. Like she hits decent, She she's like a support Mage Nuker. Like you have a main Mage Nuker who will just try to kill people and then Herd who just kind of helps like some damage along the way or helps clean up or spreads her annoying, um, her annoying um, uh, staff status. But unfortunately, because it has to, it only works on adjacent units, uh, it's not very useful. Whereas like something like her obviously is gonna be insanely useful because she just spreads over, you know, to, within two spaces she spreads Minus four to all stats, and then gives your units plus four to all stats. Um, and then, you know, obviously now she has it for fine, which gives everybody plus three attack speed, and then drops them by uh, minus three defense res within three spaces. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot else uh, I've been working on. You see a lot of these aren't books, but that's just because I'm, like, overly cautious to just get rid of everybody, turn them all into books, which I really should if I'm going to be summoning a whole bunch. But yeah, the next video from me, uh, Aether, uh, Aether is, next video from me, uh, Fire Emblem specific, should be the big ol' um, special heroes, uh, double heroes, double special hero banner summoning, uh, whatever, um, which will be a little bit further down the line. I, I really just want to take as much time as possible to see what's coming next, because, you know, as a, as a Fire Emblem player, it's, you're never... 
Like IS has never had the has hasn't had the best track record of like trusting them to like do to just be like oh yeah I'm gonna summon on this and then not get um, jobbed later on. Um, so yeah, like I said, I think if you want to summon on this, it's a safe bet. But I I always think you should wait uh, till later. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can take a look at Cronia here. Um, yeah, that's that's the channel update. You know, I've got a thousand orbs. I'm about to hit a banner. That's uh, probably gonna be the best banner that I'll ever uh, pass by here. Uh, pass by this account. Um, and I guess the only other thing I wanted to mention was all of my orbs aren't exactly free to play. They are. They are. If we looked at the orb balance, it'll say if uh, I can, because this is actually kind of interesting. I'm about to check this on my phone. Maybe it's just because I'm, this, this is an emulator, obviously. Uh, customer support. So you go to customer support and it'll say orb balance there. For some reason, it won't show that. I'm not sure why. So orb balance. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what's up with this. Um, but for those of you who know, I have, I, I've checked that before, right? And it says that you have like, you know, all those are free to play orbs, but some of them are not, right? Because some of them come from the Fey Pass and I've had the Fey Pass. So I've got like... I don't know, maybe 5, 10, 15 orbs since... Because I'll get the Fate Pass on and off. Um, in total, overall, I probably... Well, I should go get these before they go away. Um, but you get 5 orbs every every 2 weeks or something like that from the Fate Pass. Actually, those orbs aren't very useful because it's only one summon. But these Grails are, like, insanely useful. Like, you... Every 2 weeks to get, you know, 50 more Grails on top of what you already get is, is, <clears throat> is quite a bit. And I know because I was really hurting for Grails until I started getting the Fey Pass again because I, I let it go for a while. And then I got it up again. And it's like, oh my gosh, I have all these Grails. I can I can merge more consistently every week. Um, but yeah, so some of these, I want to point out, not only am I getting free five free uh, orbs uh, every two weeks, which again, like I said, it's not a whole lot. It's not like, I you know, well, I mean, as a Fey Pass user, I guess I can't really say much. You know, it's up to you guys who are free to play <clears throat> um, to decide that. But as a Fey Pass user, it's like, you don't get it for those orbs, and those orbs are like, they're just five, you know, every two weeks, and not a whole lot. It's like one summon, right? Um, but what's also important to realize, I might not have gotten all of the all the orbs from all of this in time if I didn't have the auto-repeat function, right? Because that'll just like, you just go in here, and it'll do all three of these battles for you. Oh no, not this one. Like these are all easy because they're all, you know, they're all easy. It's just one map at a time. But going through this, like, you know, three battles, six battles, like, you just put this on auto and it does it all for you. Like, it's ridiculous. So you have to realize that not only am I getting those five orbs, but you're also getting the auto repeat function, which is helpful for getting, for harvesting more free to play orbs. Um, so if you want to take that as like, I wouldn't have had these, you know, these orbs that I have if it weren't for the face pass. So the face pass basically gave me 500 orbs or 600 orbs. It was like 600, I think, in total. <laughs> Um, from all the, just all the sources, you know, weekly and all that stuff and, and daily and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, like if you want to, if you want to attribute a lot of these orbs to that and, and, and say that like the Fey Pass essentially got me, you know, five, 600 orbs and they, they shouldn't be deserved to be referred to as free to play orbs. then you know, I, I completely, you know, I'd agree with that and, and I wouldn't argue that point. Um, but if you're, if you're wondering did I spend, you know, hundreds of dollars, you know, just buying ore packs, then the answer to that is no, I, I don't buy ore packs, um. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully this thing gets fixed by the time I summon, because that's gonna be a real huge. Um, it's gonna be a huge bummer if. Um, is it was it frequently asked questions? No, it's gonna be a huge uh, bummer if I, if it's like. I can't prove that these are all free to play orbs, right? Like, what the hell. Um, I don't know. I'll have to contact customer support and see what uh, see what's up with that. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for today. Um, just wanted to. Uh, I guess show off the account, show off where I'm at, show off what's going on. Um, kind of talk about those banners as well and, and let you guys know. Uh, I'd never made that follow-up video to the to the follow-up video to Zane. Um, but it turns out that I guess Zane doesn't copy. Uh, the Phantom skills don't work for Zane. I guess as a, as a closing point. The Phantom skills don't work for Zane, so that stuff is all thrown out the window. Um, what else? Yeah, those are, that's the main thing I wanted to point out was like, I guess that, you know, I mean, I really should, I really do believe they should work. Uh, let's go look at the wording really quickly. 
I like growth, uh, inherit skill, uh, whatever, doesn't really matter. Let's go look at uh, any unit and change skill here. Okay, so Phantom. Okay, Phantom Res. If a skill compares units res to a foe's res or allies res, which the book does do what it says here, treats the units res as if granted plus five. I really feel like it should work, and I really feel like they should fix that if it's not working still. But, uh, yeah, just a heads up. It's like, I mean, it's a bit late because he's already gone. He's already come and gone. And if you pulled him, the fact that this doesn't work doesn't really matter. He's still as good as you want him to be. He's just not even better than you might have wanted him to be. Or at least I might have wanted him to be. Um, so, yeah, just a heads up. The, the Phantoms don't seem to work as from what people have told me in that video in the comments. Uh, what else? The other thing is, it's important to realize is there's a lot of teams out there, like, when was the last time you could reliably, like, set up a triangle formation and just have it be that way? Like, there's a lot of, like, pass skills, gale force, a lot of, um, that, that, that skill, the lunge skill or whatever, the, the one that, like, swaps places or something like that, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that ruins the positioning. But what I do think, it's something Acherus mentioned, too. I think, I think he mentioned it 100% or, like, I think he, he went full force and just, like, told you guys that, but I, I, I'm not sure if he actually, you know, I, I didn't go back to watch the video. But one thing is I do think he is, like, the best Premier Hexblade user, right? Because, like, let's say I'm running, um, let's say I'm playing uh, with Felicia, right? And I have him as a support unit. Felicia has a decent stat line. She goes in there, or maybe not even Felicia. Let's do someone with better stat line, right? Someone like, um, like, uh, what's it called? Like Norn, right? I put Norn on the front lines and put her on the like right at the edge to to you know just basically fight with everybody. Um, and then I put uh, what's his name uh, Zane right behind her, like adjacent to her on behind her, out of danger, right? Like the little, let's say the little squares are out of danger, so he's there and out of danger. Sometimes, right? What happens with that is that like with adjacency is they'll attack the unit and then get danced and then attack the unit behind like Norn. So they'll hit Norn and then get danced and hit the person behind Norn. But in this case, the person behind Norn is basically just another copy of Norn, right? And the infantry hex blade gives Norn plus two attack and speed and the ability for adaptive damage. So you hit their lowest stat, which means that she will not lose a lot of, um, a lot of fights anyway. So I think all in all, like that, that, that usage for him, I think he's, yeah, like I said, he's just the best infantry hexblade user, like in the whole game, because he's not privy. Like that's the problem with sorcery blade, right? Is like, I'm hitting adaptively, but if they, uh, accident, if they just move forward an inch and then just hit, you know, the person who's like the mage I have behind them, that mage is usually going to die unless it's like, you know, maybe you have Brunya doing that or something like that. Right. Um, but it, you know, in a lot of cases that mage dies, but with specifically with, um, What's his name? Specifically with Zane, he already comes with the Hexblade, and he's also just another copy of the, the unit you have there, tanking everything, right? So that's what I think is, is pretty cool. Another thing that I want to point out is that Zane is actually pretty good on AR defense. Um, you just put all your, like, tank stat tanky units aside him, uh, beside him, and then you can't attack into him and have him be, like, an anchor position, because he's just getting all the stats from everybody. Now you could say, oh, well, then you just stand on the outskirts and then bait uh, Zane out. But that's why you run. What I one of the teams I ran into ran a um, uh, what's his name, a Reinhardt in the position behind him, so that Reinhardt has the same range that the Zane has. So if you try to bait out the Zane, Reinhardt is probably going to hit you first and kill you, right? And that's kind of like, you know, in general, that's kind of a pretty good plan. So if you're going to run Zane on defense, I think he's a really good anchor so that you can't attack into him. Um, and then, like, if you, let's say, let's say you were to go around, what I did, what I tried to do, was go around and hit the, the Reinhardt. Unfortunately, the Zane is still in range to hit you, and there's still enough units for him to, like, feed his stats off of to be able to kill your new unit, your unit that you did that with. Um, so that's, that's an interesting point to bring up, is that, like... Zane is pretty good, but you need to have some sort of cavalry or something there to cover his range so that it so that it, he doesn't get baited out. Because, you know, again, if he gets baited out, he's basically useless, right? Um, but yeah, so that's kind of one thing I wanted to point out was Zane is not so good as like a, a AR offense unit as like I would have thought. I mean, he's still probably going to be really good if you if you want to. At that point, you're kind of forcing him into into that role, though, because you're like, oh, I have to, like, find a position where he's good in. It's like, oh, look at this team. Oh, this team looks pretty good. I'll, I'll throw him in there, right? You have to kind of 
pick your spots with him. If you're picking your spots with him, he's basically as good as any other unit is, right? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so that, that's kind of the... That, that was... I was going to make a whole video about, like, talking about Zayn and all that stuff, but that's basically the, all I wanted to say was that, like... Um, Zayn was not as crazy as I initially thought he was, but he's still pretty good. Like I said, Infantry Hexblade is not something to sneeze at, and having two units paired up uh, for that specific purpose is, is pretty is pretty good. Um, but they have to be like it has to be someone like Norn. You can't do it with like um, Kranya because Kranya doesn't have the best stat spread um, for him to be able to tank. Like the, the thing with Kranya is she has a decent stat spread, but her strength comes from being able to vantage people before they attack her. And Zane doesn't have that, so that's that's another thing to keep in mind. So, if you are going to do that, you know, keep in mind who you're doing that with, and 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 what the purpose is, and and how you're doing that, right? So you got to be more mindful. But yeah, I still think that like the ability to just like stack everybody's like stats on top of him is is pretty ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's it for now. Uh, I'll probably have an Epic Seven video out at some point. Um, it's been crashing my emulator a lot, so I, you know, hopefully it doesn't crash in the middle of a video. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys later uh, during the next summoning video. And um, I guess good luck on all of you who are already summoning and uh, who are summoning for uh, Freya or... Um, I keep forgetting what the other one's name is. Um, but yeah, Freya or... One, two, three... What's her name? Triandra. There we go. So Freya or Triandra, hopefully you guys are uh, have decent luck on that. And uh, yeah, till then.